we need to learn one or two things from the Ghanaians. Ghanaians, you people are the peacemakers of Africa. Hmm? In the continent of Africa, the Ghanaians are the peacemakers. Hello, welcome to my channel once again, once again, once again. I think um, there are a lot of Nigerians that actually, in recent times, they travel from Nigeria, come to Ghana just for comfort. You know, I've seen a lot of Nigerians in Ghana and seeing them, seeing them, you see all sorts of people, students, businessmen, uh, celebrities. There are a mixture of all of them, all of these people who are now staying in or living in Ghana, all because they want peace, a place that doesn't have much noise you know comparing ghana to nigeria that's what i have seen and it's not surprising seeing these guys making a video and talking about they having their freedom in ghana they are nigerians that are living in ghana and they are talking about they having their freedom to move about do whatever see everybody wants peace everybody wants good security everybody wants to have doesn't want anybody's trouble you understand but it seems like sometimes when you are living in a particular place and you feel like you are not safe you feel like you are not safe in that particular place the world is very big you can move to anywhere any place in the world so seeing a lot of nigerians coming here i understand because ghana and nigeria you all know has that bond already so if you are seeing a lot of Nigerians in Ghana, it's a normal thing. But there are these guys and I think a girl who are talking about the security and also the freedom that they have in Ghana. And I want us to watch these videos, come back and talk. Yeah, man. I come on flag now, yeah. Hey, flag, right? hey, call out stupid Nigeria now. So go the best. Tell not to go keep Boko around for that bush. I swear. Hey, 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 Well, I want you to you get you get you get talk. What you talk? Well, <laughs> I shall not say my Nigeria a day. This kind of flag was not possible. <laughs> <laughs> Normally. No, I swear. <laughs> I'm a Nigerian staying in Ghana, and this is part three of the things I've noticed in Ghana. Number one, you cannot be bored in Ghana. Like, there's always a trend. If it's not Father Bernard, it's Hayford. Is there's always a trend going on in Ghana? Like, <laughs> the only thing you need is data. If you get data, forget it. You, you you won't be sad like number two in ghana there is this kind of security where you can go to bed leaving your house gates open and you wake up and you find everything the way you left it <laughs> go and try that in nigeria if you wake up even you your bed you find the both of you under a tree the house will not belong to you anymore like by in ghana there is this peace and security where you can go to your friend's house and you just push the door and you enter they don't lock it eh? <laughs> so in ghana there are different languages but if you're in accra and you can't speak tree <laughs> my sister i think it's over for you because <laughs> even buying of stuffs and the rest if you go and buy something and give the woman and good afternoon the question they'll ask you is then and if you don't understand you will just be confused so if you are come to a car like you have to learn some basic chi before you come so you must be prepared because they will speak chi to you and if you don't understand mm. <laughs> number four Ghanaians call their teachers sir or madam it's not in Nigeria that we say uncle auntie auntie good afternoon no auntie please good afternoon uh, it's <laughs> It's nice, it's nicer than the Nigerian when I must say because auntie, uncle, why I did your mother's sister or father's brother, you understand? But the uh, sell madam, it's, it's 
quite appropriate. Number five, Ghanaians don't really get light out compared to Nigeria. Like, I know you guys have been seeing it and a generator, generator, generator. Yes, in Nigeria, there is no stable light. So, if you're in Nigeria, you don't have generator. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing in Nigeria. But in Ghana, we get stable light. Like, I can see. Yeah, there is light compared to Nigeria, but the light is not that stable because recently I don't know what has been going on with ECG and we you not know, having light that much. But before, there was pretty much stable light. Like in a month, you could have light out like twice, which is very impressive. Okay, so another one, Ghanaians really like pepper. Like. They eat banku with pepper or fried yam with pepper or if it's not pepper then they are shito which is also partially made of pepper like fried rice and they put that shito which is like black pepper or something yes in Nigeria we don't do that the people who sell fried yam they, they fry the yam with steel <laughs> the people who sell like everything so even if I go back to Nigeria I'm eating maybe banku or something with pepper and they're like don't you see soup why why are you using pepper well, what's not like you understand but in ghana it's really cool here so clearly they have their peace of mind living in ghana the girl is even saying she's schooling here yes but when it comes to what these guys the other guys were saying charlie this camouflage thing i think there are certain places that perhaps you guys have not gone to with this camouflage thing and i'm not sure all your clothes are camouflage 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 so see it's best you don't wear some of these things because it's not really rampant for military men to see you and attack you in Ghana like that. But maybe one day, one day will be a bad day for you. So Charlie, me, this military attire that you guys are wearing, I will advise you stop. See, maybe in Nigeria, it is very rampant. They will harass you. They will do this. They will do that to you. Maybe it is not the same as in Ghana, but see, for me, it's better you drop it you have a lot of clothes just wear some of them and you'll be fine don't think oh Ghana they will not do anything so you'll be wearing come off like one day one day can be a bad day for you man so that would be my advice and for the girl I say Ghana is peaceful yes she's schooling in Ghana I think she's in the senior high school but she's a Nigerian and when you even listen to her accent it has changed totally when she's speaking it's like a Ghanaian speaking you know but she's Nigerian and that's one beautiful thing about language. Now I'm sure when she goes back to Nigeria, people will not know whether she is Nigerian or she's she's Ghanaian. Those guys, they should be careful. <laughs> they should be very, very, very careful. Don't think the military will not do. Because some time ago, they were like beating people. They were beating people, I'm telling you. So don't think you've not seen it. One day, one day might be a bad day for you. So Charlie, it's better you drop it. Yeah, although Ghana is free, you can walk about, do whatever and all that. But man, be careful. That's what I will say. Thank you so much for watching.